Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to day 63 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We're always excited to have you here. Let's get started. Day 63, March 4th, 2022. 365 days Bible reading, Old Testament, Leviticus 11, Leviticus 12, New Testament, Mark 12, 13 to 27, Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 31 to 7, Old Testament, NIV version, Leviticus 11, 1 to 47, clean and unclean food. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, say to the Israelites of all the animals that live on land, these are the ones you may eat. You may eat any animal that has a divided hoof and that chews the cord. There are some that only chew the cord or only have a divided hoof, but you must not eat them. The camel, though it chews the cord, does not have a divided hoof. It is ceremonially unclean for you. The hyrax, though it chews the cord, does not have a divided hoof. It is unclean for you. The rabbit, though it chews the cord, does not have a divided hoof. It is unclean for you. And the pig, though it has a divided hoof, does not chew the cord. It is unclean for you. You must not eat their meat or touch their carcasses. They are unclean for you. Of all the creatures living in the water, of the seas and the streams, you may eat any that have fins and scales. But all creatures in the seas or streams that do not have fins and scales, whether among all the swarming things or among all the other living creatures in the water, you are to regard as unclean. And since you are to regard them as unclean, you must not eat their meat. You must regard their carcasses as unclean. Anything living in the water that does not have fins and scales is to be regarded as unclean by you. These are the birds that you are to regard as unclean and not eat because they are unclean. The eagle, the vulture, the black vulture, the red kite, any kind of black kite, any kind of raven, the horned owl, the screech owl, the gull, any kind of hawk, the little owl, the cormorant, the, gra the great owl, the white owl, the desert owl, the osprey, the stork, any kind of heron, the hoopy, and the bat. All flying insects that walk on all fours are to be regarded as unclean by you. There are, however, some flying insects that walk on all fours that you may eat. These, those that have jointed legs for hopping on the ground. Of these, you may eat any kind of locust, katydid, cricket, or grasshopper. But all other flying insects that have four legs, you are to regard as unclean. You will make yourselves unclean by these Whoever touches their carcasses will be unclean till evening. Whoever picks up on their carcasses must wash their clothes and they will be unclean till evening. Every animal that does not have a divided hoof or that does not chew the cord is unclean for you. Whoever touches the carcasses of any of them will be unclean. Of all the animals that walk on all fours, those that walk on their paws are unclean for you. Whoever touches their carcasses will be unclean till evening. Anyone who picks up their carcasses must wash their clothes and they will be unclean till evening. These animals are unclean for you. Of the animals that move along the ground, these are unclean for you. The whistle, the rat, any kind of great lizard, the gecko, the monitor lizard, the wall lizard, the skink, and the chameleon. Of all these that move along the ground, these are unclean for you. Whoever touches them, when they are dead, will be unclean till evening. 
when one of them dies and falls on something, that article, whatever it's used, will be unclean, whether it is made of wood, cloth, hide, or sack cloth. Put it in water, it will be unclean till evening, and then it will be clean. If one of them falls into a clay pot, everything in it will be unclean, and you must break the pot. Any food you are allowed to eat that has come in, into contact with water from any such pot is unclean, and any liquid that is drunk from such a pot is unclean. Anything that one of their cas carcasses falls on becomes unclean. An oven or cooking pot must be broken up. They are unclean and, they, and you are to regard them as unclean. A spring, however, or a cistern for collecting water remains clean. But anyone who touches one of these carcasses is unclean. If a carcass falls on any seeds that are to be planted, they remain clean. But if water has been put on the seed and a carcass falls on it, it is unclean for you. If an animal that you are allowed to eat dies, anyone who touches its, its carcass will be unclean till evening. Anyone who eats some of its carcass must wash their clothes and they will be unclean till evening. Anyone who picks up the carcass must wash their clothes and they will be unclean till evening. Every creature that moves along the ground is to be regarded as unclean. It is not to be eaten. You are not to eat any creature that moves along the ground, whether it moves on its belly or walks on all fours or on many feet. It is unclean. Do not defile yourselves by any of these creatures. Do not make yourselves unclean by means of them or be made unclean by them. I am the Lord your God. Consecrate yourselves and be holy, because I am holy. Do not make yourselves unclean by any creature that moves along the ground. I am the Lord who brought you up out of Egypt to be your God. Therefore be holy, because I am holy. These are the regulations concerning animals, birds, every living thing that moves about in the water, and every creature that moves along the ground. You must distinguish between the unclean and the clean, between living creatures that may be eaten and those that may not be eaten. Leviticus 12, 1 to 8. Purification after childbirth. The Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, A woman who becomes pregnant and gives birth to a son will be ceremonially unclean for seven days, just as she is unclean during her monthly period. On the eighth day, the boy is to be circumcised. Then the woman must wait 33 days to be purified from her bleeding. She must not touch anything sacred or go to the sanctuary until the days of her purification are over. If she gives birth to a daughter, for two weeks the woman will be unclean, as during her period. Then she must wait 66 days to be purified from her bleeding. When the days of her purification for a son or daughter are over, she is to bring to the priest at the entrance to the tent of meeting a year-old lamb for a burnt offering and a young pigeon or a dove for a sin offering. He shall offer them before the Lord to make atonement for her, and then she will be ceremonially clean from her flow of blood. These are the regulations for the woman who gives birth to a boy or a girl. But if she cannot afford a lamb, she is to bring two doves or two young pigeons, one for a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for her, and she will be clean. New Testament NIV version, Mark 12, 13 to 27, paying the imperial tax to Caesar. Later, they sent some of the Pharisees and Herodians to Jesus to catch him in his words. They came to him and said, teacher, we know that you are a man of integrity. You aren't swayed by others because you pay no attention to who they are, but you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it right to pay the imperial tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or shouldn't we? But Jesus knew their hypocrisy. Why are you trying to trap me? He asked. Bring me a denarius and let me look at it. 
They brought the coin and he asked them, whose image is this and whose inscription? Caesar's, they replied. Then Jesus said to them, give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. And they were amazed at him. Hallelujah. Marriage at the resurrection. Then the Sadducees who saw there, who say there is no resurrection came to him with a question. Teacher, they said, Moses wrote for us, if a man's brother dies and leaves a wife but no children, the man must marry the widow and raise up offsprings for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first one married and died without leaving any children. The second one married the widow, but he also died, leaving no child. It was the same with the third. In fact, none of the seven left any child. Last of all, the woman died too. At the resurrection, whose wife will she be? Since the seven were married to her. Jesus replied, are you not in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God? When the dead rise, they, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like the angels in heaven. Now about the dead rising, have you not read in the book of Moses in the account of the burning bush, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Hallelujah. You are badly mistaken. Wow. Psalms and Proverbs. Psalm 30, verse 1 to 7. A psalm. A song for the dedication of the temple of David. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord. You, his faithful people, praise his holy name. Hallelujah. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Glory to God. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Lord, when you favored me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed? I am so, so blessed. Glory to God. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, it will be my honor to lead you in this amazing prayer of salvation please just repeat after me say Lord Jesus I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said that prayer, go ahead and send us a message. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you, pray with you, and help you in your new faith walk. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much for sticking around with me today. Have you been blessed? I have been so, so blessed. Just go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Share this broadcast with your friends, families, and loved ones. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Bye.